This video is a five minute quickie introduction to Dreambox Learning Teacher Dashboard. The URL for Skyle's test is here, https colon forward slash forward slash play dot dreambox dot com forward slash login forward slash gv99 forward slash bqwn. This bit right here will be different from, for each elementary school, so please check with your administrator or media specialist to make sure you have the correct link. These links have been added to the student application folder if you have access to that. Your, your, your school or your teacher email is your login and your password is your network password. So whatever password you use to log into the network, that is your password for Dreambox. When you log in, you will see a page that looks like this. This is a teacher at our school. Okay. Um, this is a class. She could have multiple classes. So we're going to click on her class and you will see that she. these are the list of her students. It shows um, the number of minutes per week or this week that they have per week that they have been working. We just got started. The students have had, just had their very first experience with this. So their minutes per week, the total uh, minutes or hours that they have completed the number of lessons they've completed, the standards met, the standards in progress, and some proficiencies demonstrated. This does spiral and it does provide uh, reteaching and enrichment. So uh, it shows the grade before and the grade after. All right. So uh, only other thing I wanted to point out on this screen is that uh, Hispanic and Latino students are receiving instruction in Spanish in Dreambox. This was set automatically for many students. So um, some students have asked to leave it to, to keep it in Spanish. Other students have requested to change it to English and just follow their lead, whichever they prefer. Um, the student, if you need to change the language, just click on the student's name, select edit, and you can change his language right here. This is in the in the student settings. So uh, make sure to click save, uh, or it won't stick. Now, so if you need to edit student details, it's here in the overview. Just drill into the student's name. Now, if you want to, what are students doing? What are the games? What are they? What are the activities they're doing? Are shown here. So you click this link here, and then you'll see an alphabetical list of your students and to by day. So this Elise worked on these two act. Uh, this activity she completed it. Uh, this is a lesson. Lessons in for grades one through two are five to ten minutes. Lessons for grades three and up are eight to ten minutes. So this is what Elise worked on today. If you wanted to you know preview the game, if you wanted to see what how the game works, you can and look at it here. This is what she did yesterday and then we go into Gavin and, and what he's been doing. Lots of valuable information in this screen and we'll go into more detail uh, on this later. If you're interested in looking at the standards uh, you can click the standards tab and um, links here will give you detailed detailed descriptions of the standards worked on. Also notice um, this is set to common core. This could be changed. I think this would be a district decision. Uh, you can this graph, like I said, this student, this class just got started. But as the students work, they'll be given green and uh, proficient or in progress as they work through these standards. The uh, next thing, uh, next tab, just shows usage. This is just a, a graph. The goal is is 70 minutes. Um, the data has shown that 60 minutes per week will result in one year's growth. Not. 90 minutes will uh, result in a year, a year and a half's growth. So it talks about the minutes, the average lessons completed. So this would also be an important monitoring tool. The overview and the usage to make sure your, your students are getting the um, recommended time in the program. 
this next tab, Assign Focus. If you are teaching a unit, you can add assignments. It's very easy. Click Add Assignment, drill in. You can you know, change the grade, drill in by domain, and then drill in, uh, drill in by standard. You can assign it to everyone in the class, or you could deselect students you don't want to receive it if you're using it for re remediation or enrichment, and then select Add Assignment. Okay. So if you're when you're teaching regrouping, you can have them play games with regrouping. Okay. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out, which is real, real quick, is the roster. Uh, this is just an easy printable roster of your students with their username and password. Might be handy for younger grades. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dreambox Access Resources. Uh, this button takes you to uh, the actual URL for your school, the school code, and invitation letters for parents. This is, um, these are nice letters to encourage parents to create an account so they can monitor their students progress and um, students can play at home they don't need to do this to play at home but this allows um, shows some ways for parents to um, monitor student progress if they're interested I think that's all I'm going to demonstrate today uh, just real quick uh, Establishing expectations for your classroom, um, things that your students need to know and talk about, that it's okay to make mistakes. This is adaptive software. It takes some time for the machine to level off and get uh, right in their zone of proximal development. So it might start out a little harder and it'll, it'll get easier and then start working its way back up again. But to be okay with mistakes, that's, that's part of the process. Uh, they also need to work independently. Uh, this adaptive software is, is monitoring their miscues and their mistakes and adapting to them personally so they, they should not seek help from a friend. Um, they need to only use the virtual manipulatives. All of, a lot of these activities have virtual uh, counting tools and manipulatives built in. Please, uh, they don't need anything else um, to do this. And lastly, and most importantly, they need to make sure those headphones work and are on. Uh, much of the learning is auditory in this program, and they really can't do it if they don't have working headphones. Thank you for watching. In future videos, we'll talk more about uh, standards and assigning assignments.